Sunday morning, we're in Eastbourne. It's a bit windy, but we're excited because we're at the big one. Now, this is the competition Tony Kerridge puts on. Uh, it's sponsored by Tony's Tackle and Excalibur Charters. £1,000 for the winner. That's a nice little Sunday morning bonus. Um, but more importantly, it's a fairly important competition to me because two years ago, to this day, I fished my first ever competition and it was this competition. And um, the amount that I've come on in that time is ridiculous. So I thought it'd be interesting to come and have a go to see how I can compare to what I did two years ago. Um, we were in, um, the, two years ago when I'd done it, I was pegged over in uh, Pevensey Bay, um, which is right over that way. Um, they call it the Bay of Doom, which is <laughs> which is obviously you don't want to be there. But interestingly, I've pulled, uh, was it minus eight, I think? I've never pulled a minus peg before, but they've never pegged this area beach for this comp. We're right behind Eastbourne Angling Centre. Bit of an unknown, I think. Um, I was hoping we were going to catch some place today um, because there's place being caught all this week, but it's looking a bit dirty out there and it's not looking very placey. But... We'll kind of see what happens. It might be a whiting match, but we, we could, some dogfish might turn up, some rays might turn up, some dabs. Could be anything, really. So we've got um, all different types of baits today. We've got a normal, we've got a bit of rag, blow lug, but I have got um, some of these live yellow tails. Um, I've got a few of them to give a go. We've got some fishy baits and stuff as well in case the dogfish come in. We're all covered. We've got all the rigs, all the baits. Just need some fish to turn up. First cast, we didn't have anything. Second cast, very small whiting. Uh, they've got to be 27 centimetres today to be sizable whiting. The good news is we've got a big one. About 30 centimetres. So we're on the scoreboard. Second cast. Happy days. Right, so we've got two undersized white in. Next cast. We've put them back. We've got another undersized white in next cast. But more interestingly, a different species of fish. A place. 22 centimetres. I think they've got to be 18 to be sizable. That's what we wanted today, something a bit different. I was hoping for a place. They've been catching them all week. Because the water's all choppy, I didn't think it was they were gonna be around. But we got one, happy days. So we've just got an undersized white in, and then, more importantly, sizable, 29 centimetre, more points on the board. We're about two hours in. We're doing all right. I think there's quite a few dogfish and stuff coming up down that I've heard. Uh, and, and the guy next to me, said he's on around 88 points. I think I'm on about 60. But we're catching fish. It's all right. We're having fun, people. So we've been getting a lot of undersized whiting coming up. Like that. But we've just got a bigger one. That's a better size, look. Looks about 33 centimetres. So um, a few more of them would be nice. Twenty-seven. We're plodding along. Nothing spectacular. No heroics. But we're plodding along, catching a few fish. That's what it's all about. How are we getting on then, Simon? Oh, what a day! Yeah. <laughs> the last cast. The last cast. I'm hoping for Mr. Bass, but I don't think he's going to turn up. <laughs> I'm looking forward to a pint now. <laughs> last cast, buddy. Last cast. <laughs> <laughs> So that was it. 
the big one, 2020, sponsored by Tony's Tackle and Excalibur Charters. Congratulations to Rob Tuck, who was fishing to the right-hand side of me. We even got the winning fish on film. That very rarely happens. He had quite a lot of smaller fish as well, but those two big bass at the end, done it for him. £1,000, not bad for a Sunday morning's work. Second place was Nigel Scott. Actually, there wasn't much in it. So Rob in first had 397 points. Nigel Scott in second was 394 points. Not much in it at all. Third place was Luke Mooring. Um, so how did I get on? Well, to start with, I was very happy just to be at the event. It was on. It was fished on a Sunday. On the Wednesday beforehand, I managed to get tonsillitis. Thursday, Friday, Saturday morning, I was in bed. Um, I somehow got there Sunday morning full of antibiotics and God knows what else. Uh, and we'd done all right, really. I mean, I didn't feel great. After about two hours in, if the truth be told, I, I had very little energy. Probably, looking back, I probably could have had a few more fish out of my peg if I was a bit more on form. But I still came 26th. 26th out of 101 anglers. Well, that ain't bad, is it really? Um, fairly happy with that. I know some of you like your stats and bits and bobs, so we'll go over the uh, exactly what was caught. 101 anglers fished, 80 anglers weighed in, 702 fish were recorded. In total, caught was 539 whiting, 49 lings, 48 dabs, 32 place, 13 flounders, 10 pouts, six bass, four dogfish, and one sole. Um, I had a lot of undersized fish. What I think I had about 10 sizable fish, did I? Um, but I probably had a good 20 undersized white, and there was a time when I was pulling up sort of three at a time, um, but they didn't count. They had to be 27 centimeters. Most of them were coming up sort of 22, 23 centimeters. But hey, uh, it's the same for everyone. Um, fishing over to my left-hand side was Simon and his lovely daughter. Um, lovely people. Simon's an ex-RAF man, a proper bloke, you know. Uh, and it was fantastic to meet them. I don't really ever get that in my videos, you know, about the people you meet. and Because um, that's a massive part of match fishing. Um, and it's why I kind of enjoy it so much. You never know who you're going to be fishing next to. Simon and his daughter were there together. Lovely to see a, 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 a father and daughter together, you know, out at match, having a nice morning out. Um, I think they were from over Brands Hatchway. And then we met their mate Chris at the weigh-in as well. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep in touch with them because um, we swap numbers. Uh, and yeah, and I don't always get the full flavour of the event on camera. It's very hard to film a fishing match on your own while you're competing in it. But we do our best to get it out there. Um, we've got some more matches and stuff coming up soon. So do subscribe on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we will be back soon.